Well, Starbucks CEO is apologizing after the arrest of two black men at one of its Rittenhouse Square coffee houses. He's also promising to train workers so it doesn't happen again. Our news reporter Matt Petrillo is live again this morning at 18th and Spruce, where protesters took over the shop yesterday. Matt, good morning. What are you seeing now? Hey, good morning to you. Well, the shop is open. They're taking customers' orders. That wasn't the case yesterday. They essentially shut them down for most of the day. Meanwhile, the CEO of Starbucks, he says, well, changes have to be made. Yesterday, he told Philadelphia city leaders he wants input from those two men who were arrested. We had a very constructive meeting uh, with the mayor, the police commissioner. Uh, other government elected officials, and we really appreciate the transparency. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson left a meeting with Philadelphia city leaders yesterday saying his company has more work to do to prevent racial discrimination. It comes after the controversial and viral arrest of two black men inside a Rittenhouse Starbucks coffee shop. We gon' fight all day and night until we get it right. Johnson's meeting also happened just as tensions were coming to a boiling point at the Starbucks. Protesters yesterday essentially shutting it down after demonstrating inside, first in the morning, then late in the afternoon. Johnson wouldn't reveal much about his meeting with Philadelphia city leaders, but Mayor Jim Kenney says that Starbucks is now re-examining its policies. And they're going to go through all the data that they have in Philadelphia and around the country to see if they've had any complaints like this before. Late last night, the mayor also released what city departments are doing to respond to the arrests. The Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations is asking the company for data and will review if Starbucks policies are enforced uniformly. The city's police department is reviewing how officers responded to similar arrests and if changes need to be made. And the police advisory committee is taking an in-depth look at what happened, which may include looking at Starbucks' own security video of the moments before police were called to arrest the two men. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen again. And the mayor also says he wants input from the two men who were arrested. Meanwhile, the manager who called police at this Starbucks no longer works at this location. Reporting live in Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.